The Central Treaty Organization, originally known as the Baghdad Pact of the Middle East Treaty Organization was formed in 1955 by Iran, Iraq, Pakistan, Turkey, and the United Kingdom. It was dissolved in 1979. U.S. pressure and promises of military and economic aid were key in the negotiations leading to the agreement. Although the United States could not initially participate, John Foster Dulles, who was involved in the negotiations, ascribed this to the pro-Israel lobby and the difficulty of obtaining congressional approval. Others said the reason was, for purely technical reasons of budgeting procedures, quote, in 1958, the United States joined the Military Committee of the Alliance. It is generally viewed as one of the least successful of the Cold War alliances. The organization's headquarters were located in Baghdad in 1955-1958 and in Ankara in 1958-1979. Cyprus was also an important location for Cento, due to its positioning within the Middle East and the British sovereign base areas situated on the island. History Modelled after the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, Cento committed the nations to mutual cooperation and protection, as well as non-intervention in each other's affairs. Its goal was to contain the Soviet Union by having a line of strong states along the USSR's southwestern frontier. Similarly, it was known as the Northern Tier to prevent Soviet expansion into the Middle East. Unlike NATO, Cento did not have a unified military command structure, nor were many U.S. or U.K. military bases established in member countries, although the U.S. had communications and electronic intelligence facilities in Iran, and operated U-2 intelligence flights over the USSR from bases in Pakistan. The United Kingdom had access to facilities in Pakistan and Iraq at various various times while the treaty was in effect. On July 14, 1958, the Iraqi monarchy was overthrown in a military coup. The new government was led by General Abdul Karim Kashim who withdrew Iraq from the Baghdad Pact, opened diplomatic relations with Soviet Union and adopted a non-aligned stance. The organization dropped the name of Baghdad Pact in favor of CENTO. At that time, the Middle East and South Asia became extremely volatile areas during the 1960s with the ongoing Arab-Israeli conflict and the Indo-Pakistani wars. Cento was unwilling to get deeply involved in either dispute. In 1965 and 1971, Pakistan tried unsuccessfully to get assistance in its wars with India through Cento, but this was rejected under the idea that Cento was aimed at containing the USSR, not India. Cento did little to prevent the expansion of Soviet influence to non-member states in the area. Whatever containment value the pact might have had was lost when the Soviets leapfrogged the member states, establishing close military and political relationships with governments in Egypt, Syria, Iraq, the People's Democratic Republic of Yemen, Somalia, and Libya. By 1970, the USSR had deployed over 20,000 troops to Egypt, and had established naval bases in Syria, Somalia, and P. DR, Yemen. The Iranian Revolution spelled the end of the organization in 1979, but in reality, it essentially had been finished since 1974. When Turkey invaded Cyprus, this led the United Kingdom to withdraw forces that had been earmarked to the alliance, and the United States Congress halted Turkish military aid despite two presidential vetoes. With the fall of the Iranian monarchy, whatever remaining rationale for the organization was lost. Future U.S. and British defense agreements with regional countries, such as Pakistan, Egypt, and the Persian Gulf states, were conducted bilaterally. With the withdrawal of Iran, the Secretary General of Cento, Turkish diplomat Kamran Gurun, announced on March 16, 1979, that he would call a meeting of the Pact's Council in order to formally dissolve the organization. Timeline 
1954 February, Turkey signed a pact of mutual cooperation with Pakistan. The 24th of February 1955, a military agreement was signed between Iraq and Turkey, and the term Baghdad Pact started to be used. Iran, Pakistan, and the United Kingdom joined the Baghdad Pact. 1959 March, the new Republican regime of Iraq withdrew the country from the alliance. The 19th of August 1959, Mito renamed Santo. 1965, Pakistan tried to get help from its allies in its war against India. The United Nations Security Council passed Resolution 211 on September 20 and the United States and the United Kingdom supported the UN decision by cutting off arms supplies to both belligerents. 1971, in a new war with India, Pakistan again tried unsuccessfully to get Allied assistance. 1979, the new Islamic government of Iran withdrew the country from Sento. Dot. Secretaries General. A Secretary General, appointed by the Council of Ministers for a renewable three years, oversaw Sento activities. Secretaries General were Cento Railway. Cento sponsored a railway line, some of which was completed, to enable a rail connection between London and Tehran via Van. A section from Lake Van in Turkey to Sharif Kaner in Iran was completed and funded in large part by Cento. Part of the route included a rail ferry across Lake Van with a terminal at Tap Van on the western side of the lake. The civil engineering was especially challenging because of the difficult terrain. Notable features of this railway on the Iranian side include 125 bridges and among them the towering quota span, spanning 1,485 feet over gorge 396 feet deep cultural and research institutions. Like its counterparts NATO and SEATO, CENTO sponsored a number of cultural and scientific research institutions. These included CENTO conferences on teaching public health and public health practice. CENTO Cultural Works Program. CENTO Institute of Nuclear and AMP, Applied Science. CENTO Scientific Coordinating Board, CENTO Scientific Council, CENTO Symposia on Rural Development. These institutions supported a wide range of non-military activities, with a particular focus on agriculture and development. In 1960, for example, CENTO had funded 37 projects covering agriculture, education, health, economic development and transportation. It also arranged at least one symposium on the problem of foot and mouth and rinderpist. Cento Institute of Nuclear and AMP, Applied Science. The organization that became the Cento Institute of Nuclear Science was established by the Western powers in the Baghdad Pact, as Cento was then known. It was initially located in Baghdad, Iraq, but was relocated to Tehran, Iran in 1958 after Iraq withdrew from Cento. Students from Pakistan and Turkey as well as those from Iran were trained at the institute. Cento Scientific Council The Cento Scientific Council organized a number of scientific symposia and other events, including a meeting in Lahore, Pakistan, in 1962, and titled The Role of Science in the Development of Natural Resources with particular reference to Pakistan, Iran and Turkey.